Okay, I'm going to start this video with a question. Do you ever have so many projects that you actually forget you've got one? Well, that's exactly what's happened to me. Come in a minute. So here it is, my little Indian MM5A. I've had this bike a long time. It's one of the projects that you get a bit done, it gets parked, then another bit gets done, then it gets parked, and it's went on that for a long time. So I'll run through what has been done to the bike and what is still needed. But first of all, to answer the question in the thumbnail, yes, it's definitely a real motorcycle. It's a 50cc two-stroke, and designed for a child, obviously, the size of it. These were only available in America, I believe. The Indian company was bought over by Kajiva, or there was some collaboration. I don't really know, maybe if somebody knows the story they can put it in the comments. But I've ended up with one anyway. I got this for a friend of mine years ago. Uh, I swapped him for an old steam cleaner that was broken. And he was happy with that, and I was obviously happy with this. When I got it, it was in a bit of a state, I have to say. I don't have any old photographs of what it originally looked like. Just some of the work that was being done, which I'll add in. The first thing that was very noticeable about it was the frame was damaged. It was pretty damaged along here. I'll, I'll put the photograph in. And the only solution was really to cut the frame insert a tube and fit a new tube here. Uh, obviously all of these had to be reset and uh, the headstock had to be reset. So it was a delicate operation but my, between Bob and I we managed to get it done. I uh, was pretty happy with the frame, how it turned out. Uh, it's pretty straight and solid. The next uh, thing that was tackled was the engine. The biggest problem there was that the there just wasn't any parts available. I had to get everything from the States. So there's a new piston, rings, seals, bearings, carb kit, points, gaskets. Everything, as I say, I had to order for the States and it just took so long for them to get here. But the engine should be really good. We haven't had it running, but it should be really good. Uh, should be sound enough. Even uh, the little fuel cap had to come from the States as well. It just isn't anything available, not even in Europe. So that was fine, we managed to get as far as that. Uh, and then we came across the front forks, that was the next problem. And they were unusable, they were just so bad. They were so badly corroded. They were made from mild steel and very basic stuff, but hopeless. The decision then was made to make a set and these, we made these from marine grade stainless steel. So it was, quite a, it was quite a tricky job actually, we had to do quite a bit of machining for the inserts at the end here for the bolt, the threaded bolts etc. And the bushes at the bottom, they're not hydraulic, they just have the spring and the grease in there. Uh, so th these will actually be stronger than the original ones. Still have a little bit to do. We, we need to get this bit tacked on. Uh, but so 95% there with the forks. And if you can see that, they work absolutely perfectly. So really pleased with that. It was a big, that was a big problem. It was a big problem that we had to overcome. We managed to, managed to get there with it. A couple of years ago, Again, it was parked again. <laughs> I don't even know how many years ago this, this thing's been kicking about. A couple of years ago, I pulled the frame out and I powder coated it along with the handlebars. Handlebars there. And the footrest hanger. I mean, look at the size of these components, they're so small. And the swing arm. <laughs> look at the size of it. 
So I did that and it, again it was another little bit done and I slotted the engine in and then when I was doing the tank uh, the work on the XT500 I uh, thought well I'll get the tank done for the for little gorilla or the little Indian while I'm at it so I was pleased at getting that done as well then I came across uh, another issue was the wheels they, 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 they are needing refurbished so I was either going to get them re-chromed or powder coated but first of all the first thing I wanted to do was get a set of spokes made for it so I got these stainless steel spokes made gave them to the guy to replicate them and he did but I don't know if you can see but they're they're actually thinner than the originals which wouldn't really be a problem now, they'd be strong enough to hold the wheel the problem is the nipple the nipple's too small and it would pull right through the wheel and I never noticed that till probably a year after I got them so I'll need to get them redone and I'll tell you they're only cheap to get the, them made just part of the fun of these, this type of project so I have to get that redone and the wheels rebuilt that's probably the next biggest job to be done with the bike the exhaust the exhaust is actually missing I don't have an exhaust for it at all uh, so that might have to be something that has to be uh, has to be made and it's it's got a thread threaded collar here so it may be quite a complex wee job but We'll overcome that problem when we get to it. So that's it. That's where it, where it's at at the moment. Uh, the seat, the seat's here. It's complete. Uh, it's needing completely rebuilt. As you can see, it's a a wooden base, <laughs> a rotten wooden base at that, and quite cool of use something like carpet tacks there to hold the cover in place but the good thing is the seat is there so that we've got bases to work from we can make a form and uh, completely redo that uh, but it's a lovely wee thing I really like the look of it the proportions are really nice it's really been really well designed and I'm hoping my grandson gets a, a bit of use at it and if he doesn't use it then get it mounted in the wall because it's, it's a gorgeous wee thing and I, I can picture it in my mind how it's going to look when it's finished uh, so if I can get some enthusiasm up I think by making this video this will motivate me a little bit more <laughs> to get on with it so I'll update you I'll update you as soon as I get the next part done meantime take care of yourself ride safe and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now bye